Here we are, Donnie. We're gonna be putting an autopilot in here. I think we're gonna put the screen right here. We've got this autopilot. It's gonna sit like that. It's gonna look real nice on the dash. And it's gonna be a pretty quick install because this is just putting the controller in and it's a steer by wire because the boat has Optimus steering, Seastar Optimus, which is all electronic. Um, so it's got an electronic helm, so pretty much everything's through NEMA 2000. Donnie's going to start out here by putting this controller in right here. And I'm going to get down here into the console here. And this is our computer, or well the compass, course compass unit. I'm going to be mounting that, running our wires from the NEMA, and putting it in here. For these compasses, you really want them to be in the middle of the boat and low, away from stuff. They can't be near speakers or anything. You don't want them near a bunch of batteries. Plenty of space there, but we're going to end up taking this, sticking it up, probably like right here. That'll be perfect. So we can run our wires back over. They've got to come up in here and and here's our backbone for NEMA. Boom, boom. These two things right here. That's where we need to plug it in. If you haven't seen our video on the NEMA, you have to check that out. But I'm going to get this mounted and run some wires. You want it to line up nice and flat. Mm-hmm. Bam. I think right there is symmetrical, isn't it? No, not quite. It's not quite. I mean, I kind of. I'm thinking it almost needs to come this way a little bit, you know? Yeah. That way it's kind of like closer in, so you're like looking at this screen and having. But at the same time, you kind of drive at an angle like this, so... Yeah, I'd say over just a smidgen. What you think? It's like a tiny bit over more. Hmm, I like it. I think right there's the spot. Yeah, stick it there. Maybe a little bit more over. Just so this space and this space look similar. Okay. Also, I need to look down here, make sure that there's no nothing behind it. All right. Yep. We got free, free space and cut. No problems. Um. Yeah. We can stick it there. No issues. Look at how thick this is. Super thick. Mm hmm. I like it. Right there. Yep, I like it. Send it. Come back down there there you go evenly there it goes okay we've got the course compass put in right there wires nice and straight tension relief ran all the way along here come all the way back over to here i've got them you know run right here all the way along 
bring them over into there. They've come out right here. I've got to put this horn onto this, which is this little thing. I'll just tie that up in the wiring. Both my NEMA cables are there. Now, one of them is an interconnect cable from the, the compass, which goes to the steering. Now, I got two backbones right here. This one here is going to be for my steering, which is the Optimus steer by wire system. And then this backbone is going to be the Garmin electronic backbone. So the NEMA 2000 out of the course compass is going to go to this backbone and the interconnect is going to go to this one. So that's where those two are going to go. Donnie's got that cut out right there. We'll go out and check out that hole. That's going to be pretty much all the wiring in here. I have the NEMA cables here. I just need to bring them up and put them to the backbone. But let's come out here and take a look at where Donnie's at on this out here. He's got the hole cut out. That's looking nice. This is a really thick dash. Look at that thing. I mean, that's all of an inch and a half. I mean, that's solid, solid console. I like that. Um, what's it look like, Donnie? How you feel? Stick the thing down in there. What's it look like? Let's see. Fits like a glove. Tight nice. Fit. Yeah. I think that's looking pretty. Got all three of our screens here. Looking nice. Beautiful. Okay, so he's going to screw that down, put the bezels in. I'm going to hook it up to NEMA. I think you've got a NEMA cable out here, right? Mm, at this? That's a network cable. another one out there on the seat. So, okay, I'll grab that NEMA. I'll hook that up to the backbone as well. That controller is going to go to our regular Garmin network backbone. And so, let me go out there and do that. It. And then we're going to update it. And we won't be able to configure it because we're on the water but that'll be all that's left for this autopilot. got the screen plugged in and everything turning on now enable autopilot controls yep all right we're gonna get United States English no to the store demo basic functions it's powerboat in the US Atlantic all right, and there's the main little screen there. Now these garments, pro oh, hold on. Let me go there. Maybe. Let's turn that off. I don't want our transducer overheating. But these garments look like they're in need of an update. So we're gonna go ahead and update this whole system. And to do that, you just want to find your main screen, which is usually the XSV. I don't know if you can see it back there. And open up the SD port, have the file for the update downloaded onto a SD card from 8 to 32 gigs. And, oh, there's a right and wrong way. And then plug it in. All right. After that, you'll get a message saying that software updates, install now, and then update software. Yes, it does take a long time. All right. And then the screen starts saying it, and 
eventually this one. Okay. Uh huh. There's all the devices on the network that are going to be updating. Reactor 40, which we just put in. Both the uh, screens, and it shows you the old version and the version it's going to. So we'll let that update. You've seen all that. That's all done. That's all cleaned up, looking nice. No wires hanging out in here. We've got her all strapped up. Install clean. Wires running over here to our backbone. We did have a little extra, so we coiled it up nice, neat. Bundles light right there. Those wires coiled up. Got our alarm there. All those set up like that. So now we just need to go up, plug it in, and see what kind of alarms and stuff's going on. You turn the keys on? Yep. Run Autopilot Wizard later. So yeah, now the, the dock side one. You can do the dock side now, you just can't do anything in there. Oh, well, that's, that's pretty smart thinking. From Garmin. Betty Nice. Speed Source. GPS. No. Can't do that. <laughs>